Hey everyone, welcome back to my sewing and DIY channel. My name is Gwen and today I have a super exciting sewing pattern and step-by-step -step sewing video tutorial to share with you. It's a hat pattern and not just any hat pattern, it's my hat pattern. So this hat pattern is called the Orion and it's made up of a crown with eight sections, a one inch wide band and a brim. But wait, there's more! With this same hat pattern, you can also make a brimless beret style version because if you have been here for a hot minute, you will know that I love wearing one thing multiple ways. So in this video today, I'll be walking through the steps to preparing the paper pattern, cutting the fabric pieces out, sewing the hat, both the newsboy style version and this brimless beret style version, and last but not least, tips and ideas to styling your hat. A little bit of background on how and why this sewing pattern came about. Now, if you have been here for a while, you know that I've been working on making my autumn winter capsule wardrobe. And one of the things that I really wanted to include for my capsule wardrobe is a hat, specifically this type of newsboy style hat. But I ran into a problem while I was trying to like plan the project out because I couldn't find the exact style that I wanted. A lot of the newsboy style hat sewing patterns that I looked at were kind of too bulky in the crown area, too poofy and too like brimmy. I wanted something more cutesy, sleeker looking, more compact, really just mainly just more cutesy. <laughs> And so the only way to go around this problem is to make my own hat pattern. The sewing pattern is available in my Etsy store right now and it comes with an additional instruction booklet with lots of good information like a list of the types of fabric you could use, additional sewing tips, suggested cutting layout, and step-by-step -step photos to really supplement this video tutorial. If you're interested in making this hat and purchasing the pattern, I have a 30% off discount code just for you at the end of the video. We have quite a bit to cover so I think we're just gonna go get started it right here. Now before cutting the fabric and sewing the hat, you need to pick the right size for your hat. The hat pattern comes in five sizes with the finished head circumference measuring between 21 to 25 inches. To pick the right size for yourself, you need to start by measuring your head circumference. Then pick the hat size closest to your head measurement. The difference between the finished hat circumference and your original head circumference is the amount of ease you'll have. So if you want a loose fitting hat, consider sizing up. When printing the paper pattern, make sure you have to pattern print it at 100% scale and verify that you have the pattern printed right by using this 2x2 two two inch test square. Cut the paper pattern out and join the pieces where needed with tape or glue. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, the newsboy style hat is made of the crown, the band, and the brim. So to make one newsboy style hat, cut the following. And to make the beret style version without the brim, just skip cutting the brim. In this tutorial, I'm making the first style with the brim using a medium weight corduroy fabric as the main fabric and a thrifted bed sheet as the lining fabric. And for the second style without the brim, I'm using a medium weight cotton twill as the main fabric and a floral poly cotton as the lining fabric. And now let's get to sewing. We're going to start by sewing the crown of the hat in the main fabric. Take two pieces of the crown cut in the main fabric and put them right sides together making sure that the edges are aligned and sew along this edge on the right. Next, clip the curved section of the seam and press this seam open with the steam iron. Now, because this is a curved seam, you'll find having a tailor's hem to be pretty helpful in getting this process done. I made mine for cheap using some quilting cotton, some polyester filling, and a free pattern that I found online, which I will include a link for in the description box. You can also make this work by first pressing half of the seam, then turning your work by 180 degrees and pressing the other half. Now we're going to start adding more crown pieces to what we already have. Taking the piece from the previous step, turn it 
so that the wrong side is facing up, and pin the third piece of the crown to it so that the right sides of both pieces are facing each other. Make sure you align this tip right here and pin and sew along this right long edge. I recommend sewing from the tip to the base of the crown and this is how it should look before you start sewing and we're gonna just repeat the same process of sewing, clipping and pressing the seam open. So at this stage you should have three pieces of the crown sewn together looking like this and now we're gonna attach the fourth piece of the crown to this. And just like before, turn the work over so that the wrong side is facing up. Pin the fourth piece of the crown to it, right sides together, making sure that you align them along this point here. Repeat the same process of sewing along the right long edge, clipping the curved section of the seam, and pressing the seam open with the steam iron. And at this stage, you will have half of the crown and it looks like this. Now because we have three seams converging together towards a single point, there's going to be quite a bit of bulk towards this um, pointed end of the crown. So go ahead and trim a little bit of that seam off to reduce the bulk in this area. Then repeat the same process of sewing the four pieces of the crown together until you end up with two halves of the crown in main fabric. So here's one and here is the second one. Put these two halves of the crown right sides together, making sure, this is very important, that you align the seams right here. So it's not enough to just align and pin, you need to Check that they're still aligned after pinning because sometimes the um, different layers might have shifted during the process of just piercing the pin through. Good, they're aligned. Now we're going to sew these two halves of the crown together. And yes, just like before, we're going to repeat the process of sewing, clipping, and pressing the seam open. Now, if you're thinking about adding top stitching to your crown, then now is the time to do that before we move on to the band and the brim. You can either use the same thread that you're using to sew the rest of the hat or go a little fancier and use a top stitching thread in a contrasting color like this denim look that I'm going for with this beret style hat, which I will be showing more of towards the end of this video tutorial. Repeat that whole sequence of sewing the crown pieces together, but this time with the lining fabric and you will have one whole crown in main fabric and one whole crown in lining fabric looking like this. This next step here is optional, but if you would like to have a tailored and more professional looking finish to your hat, then go ahead and make a fabric covered button using the same main fabric and Stitch that to the top of your crown in main fabric. And now we're going to baste the main crown and the lining crown together. Place the main crown and lining crown pieces wrong sides together, making sure that you have all the vertical seams aligned. Then using the longest stitches in your sewing machine, baste them together along the raw circular edge, about a quarter inch from the end. When you're done with that, put the crown aside and we're going to start working on the brim. Apply interfacing to both brim pieces, then place them wrong sides together and stitch along this curved edge. Then use your fabric scissors to trim the seam to about just a quarter inch wide and turn the brim right sides out. Make sure you've got that seam kind of rolled flat or pressed with the steam iron as needed and then top stitch along this seam curved edge about a quarter inch from the edge. And now we're just going to put this brim aside again for a bit and we're going to start working on the band. Apply interfacing to just one of the band pieces. Now take the band without interfacing and press the width of the seam allowance along one of the long edges towards the wrong side of the band piece. And when you're done, they will look kind of like this. 
Next, sew each band piece right sides together along the short edge. Then press the seam open and fold that seam allowance for that band without interfacing down again and you will have both band pieces looking like this. I'll be continuing with the instructions for making the hat with the brim here and you can stay to the end of the video for the instructions for making the hat without the brim. Now we're going to mark the midpoint of the band with interfacing by folding it in half and cutting a notch about a quarter inch deep here and here. Mark out the midpoint in the raw edge of the brim by doing the same, folding it in half and cutting a notch. If you don't want to cut a notch, you can actually just use a pin to mark it or a fabric chalk as well. But we need to have the midpoint so it's easier for us to align the pieces later on. Next, clip the curved raw edge of the brim with little snips about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch deep. And this is important for us to um, align this curved edge along the straight edge of the band. And now we're going to pin the band with the interfacing to the brim. Find the midpoint notches in the band and the interfacing, match them, and pin them right sides together like this. So we started with that curved line in that raw edge of the brim and you're going to have to pull and tuck the little snips until the curved edge conforms with the straight edge of the band and it would look like this. Baste the brim to this band with the interfacing about a quarter inch from the edge. Next, pin the band pieces right sides together, aligning them along this vertical seam. So along this edge and notice the brim is sandwiched between the two band pieces and we are not sewing the edge with the seam allowance folded in. Next, fold the band pieces wrong sides together, press with the steam iron if needed and top stitch along this seam about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the seam. Once you're done with that, you'll have the band and the brim sewn together looking like this. Flip it so that the band with the folded edge faces out and pin the band with the interfacing to the crown of the hat right sides together. I find it easier to just take the midpoint notch of the band with the interfacing, match that to one of the vertical seams of the crown, and then going to that short vertical seam of the band and pinning that to the opposite end of the crown. And once I've got these two key points aligned, then I go on to pin the rest of this edge together. Now again, we're trying to match a curved edge to a straight edge and that can get a little tricky. Depending on the size of the hat that you're making and the type of fabric that you're using, you may or may not have to end up snipping a little bit of the seam allowance just to make the band and the crown match up. I want you to watch what I'm doing here at the machine when sewing them together. You see my hand going to the back of the machine occasionally and that's when I'm actually pulling my work straight, pulling the seam straight and um, kind of adjusting as I go to make sure that the crown and the band will end up aligning and that I won't end up with any creases in the crown after sewing. In my opinion, that was probably the hardest part of making the hat. And when you're done with that, your hat should look like this. And now we're going to finish with sewing the band to the rest of the hat. There are three different ways of doing this. Number one, stitching in the ditch. So if you're doing that, the stitches on the right side will be hidden sneakily in the seam right here. And the stitches will be catching the band on the inside of the hat. The second method is top stitching. So if you're doing that, the stitches on the right side of the hat will be right next to the seam, about one eighth to a quarter inch from it. And again, obviously the stitches will be catching the band on the inside of the hat. And the third method is to hand sew with the blind stitch. Now I'm going to be stitching in the ditch for this hat. And this is the way that I pinned the band to the crown to help me with the sewing. And I'm also going to be using my zipper foot um, to help me with the process.
once you're done with that, you have officially finished making your hat. Congratulations! And now I'm going to show you a different way of making this hat pattern. So I'm going to show you how to sew the brimless beret style version of this hat. We're going to prepare the band just the same way as before, but now we have no brim to sew, right? So we're going to put the band pieces right sides together and sew along this edge right here. Again, notice we are not touching the folded edge of the band just yet. Once you're done with that, press the seam allowance towards the wrong side of the band without the interfacing. Understitch on the band about 1 8 to a quarter inch from the seam line. So again, I'm showing you that seam allowance is actually folded towards the band without interfacing. Next, press the band pieces wrong sides together. Then we're going to stitch the band to the crown. We're going to take the band with the interfacing and pin it to the crown of the hat right sides together. And remember the thing I talked about snipping the seam allowance to make the curved edge and the straight edge align? I didn't have to do that at all with this cotton tool hat. Maybe because it's a more stable fabric. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to sew the band to the rest of the crown. And for this hat, I am using the method of top stitching. And this is how I pinned the band to the crown. And I'm also using the same contrasting top stitching thread just to really give it the whole like denim look right here. Again, notice what I'm doing with my hands. I am pulling my work straight while sewing um, just to prevent any puckerings in the band when sewing. I also ended up top stitching the bottom edge of the band just to give it the whole complete denim top stitched look. And here are a couple of tips and tricks to wearing and styling your Orion hat. What you need to do is really push the crown down and kind of shape the bit that is close to the band and make sure that it sits flat on your head. You can also take this time to kind of fold and shape the brim as needed. And if you have made the brimless beret style version, you can either have the folded bit of the crown kind of just centered and perching on your head or you can have the crown just folded to the side to make it look like a more uh, of a, I guess true beret style personally I like to wear my beret without my fringe showing for I don't know this color I guess but yeah so these are the different ways that you could wear and style your Orion hat and that's it! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to make this hat, you can use the discount code YAY30 to get 30% off your purchase from now until February 14. I really can't wait to see all the amazing designs that you'll be sewing with my Orion hat pattern. And if you do share your makes on social media, do tag me and use the hashtag GSM Orion so I can take a look at them. I will see you again next week for more sewing. DIY and perhaps a little bit of fun. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Hats up!